March, y'all. Unbelievable. Here yes. we are, March 1st. It's also Women's History Month. Hey, Naima. <laughs> it's Women's History Month. Hey, I got to shout out the first woman. Hey, Naima, how are you, baby? <laughs> if you don't, you know what happens. Yes, I don't need no problems. <laughs> it's Women's History Month, and the Spy Museum in D.C. highlighting women who have a history of field espionage. Okay. Everyone from Harriet Tubman to people like Julia Child. What did Julia Child do? Yeah, well, we're going to tell you. Many well-known women gathering intel are Gwen Tolbert. Okay. Another woman down at the Spy Museum. Bringing it all down. Hey, Gwen. I'm trying to be a spy here. I don't think I'm doing a great job, though. I'm not, I don't have a good disguise, but you know what? These women had amazing disguises, and not only that, but did so much using so much intelligence and I'm gonna call in now Amanda Olke who is the director of adult uh, education here this is so exciting I mean who would think no. we've got female James Bond people oh my god now are you really Gwen or are you <laughs> undercover I mean what a pleasure to have you here today to talk about some of the most famous women spies Kicking it off with Mata Hari, she is a famous World War I spy. So many people are familiar with her story. She used a lot of seduction to mm. get secrets. Okay. But I want to take you to show you some people who are a little more professional All in right. what they did. And okay. there's plenty of women who, you know, were disguised and, and, and just did so many different things that we probably wouldn't even imagine. Now, tell me about this woman. Oh, my gosh. This is our wonderful friend, John Mendez. She's a board member here at the Spy Museum. Museum. She was a chief of disguise at the CIA. This is a woman who has created disguises that she wore in the Oval Office and fooled a president. I mean, just incredible. I mean, President Bush said, turn around. I got to see this. I can't even believe what you're doing. And then you see some things. And that's a picture of her that's there her in her a, disguise. In the disguise. And what about some of these things yeah. she used? So obviously calling on being a woman, you see what she's done here. I mean, she's got a belly, a pregnant belly that you can hide a camera in. And everyone trust pregnant ladies. They don't think we're up to anything when we are right. having a baby. Right. Um, another thing that she um, has loaned to us, given to us, is a nose. That's for making a false nose. Like she always says, I can make you older, not younger, fatter, not thinner, okay. probably uglier, not prettier. Your nose isn't going to get smaller, but it could get bigger. So, speaking of things that were, they could conceal, I mean, when we think about uh, cosmetics or jewelry cases and things of that sort, there's a lot here that they did uh, they did use. So tell me about some of these oh items. Gosh. We have so many wonderful things designed just for women's spies. One of my particular favorite up here in this corner, look at these gorgeous earrings. They're a little bit big. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Too big? Or would you wear this? No. But maybe underneath there's a little concealment area so you could maybe carry a micro dot maybe a secret message something that you want to share with someone so all of these are different concealments secret a box uh, a jewelry box with a secret bottom you know I mean some of us may have had some of these things when when we were teenagers but they're just wonderful all right, now we have some celebrities uh, who were spies that people are going to be surprised to hear about. I heard Joe mention uh, Julia Charles, but there's some other ones as well, and we're going to bring those to you in our 4 and 5 o'clock hours, so stick around because we've got some things that are going to be like me <laughs> undercover around here, right? Yeah, Gwen. Right. Dun, Back to you. It's too funny. Gwen Bourne. <laughs> You're going to have, yeah, Gwen Bourne. I like that. You're going to have to wait until 5 o'clock to see Julia Child. I want to see, yeah, I need to know what Julia Child was doing because this is my first hearing that she was a spy. It was a camera her stick of butter. But now I'm looking at Naima different. <laughs> Is she a spy? Yeah, the whole time. She's been yeah. keeping a watchful eye How are we going to start Women's History Month with a spy story? I'm about to come home and look at you funny style, Naima. <laughs>